All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about Google Sheets syntax. And I'm making this video because I often get comments that, hey, I've tried the comma like you're doing and I'm getting a syntax error and it just doesn't work. Or maybe I did a semicolon and it didn't work, right? So I get questions like this. And then sometimes people say, hey, the syntax has changed. It used to be a comma, now it's a semicolon, but it has not. So what's happening is that you may have different syntax depending on your location. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I'm trying to create a function, in my case, uh, I'm in the US, so I have English as the language setup. So if I go here and do equal sum, I open parentheses. The way I'm gonna do this, I could just do this range of cells. And if I wanted to add a second range of cells, I would do a comma here and go here and select another range. So comma in my case is the separator between arguments. If I press enter, that will give me the total, it works. Now, let me show you what's gonna happen if I change my language settings. So I'm gonna go from file to spreadsheet settings. And then here from the US, I'm gonna choose Spain. I'm gonna press save settings. So now I'm gonna try the same thing. If I go here and do equal sum, open parentheses, and I select this range, do a comma, and select the second range, see, I got an error, because comma is not a valid separator anymore. So once I switched the country settings, I'm gonna have to use now a semicolon. So semicolon would be the second separator. And it really depends on the country you're in. Sometimes it's gonna be a comma, sometimes it's gonna be a semicolon to separate your arguments. So now if I select the second range, oops, I'm gonna have to remove one of those parentheses, press enter, see, it works again. And by the way, if I go back and check this, you'll see that it automatically switched after I changed the settings, it went to semicolon when I originally did a comma in this function. So argument separator, it's either comma or semicolon. Now, the second separator that can create confusion is the array separator. So let me switch this back to United States. Save settings. And let me create an array. So array syntax in the US at least is gonna be, I'm gonna use this curly bracket. And then in this curly brackets, if I wanted to do multiple columns, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, that would be four. That would be now four columns. If I press enter, see it outputs everything in a single column. So now if I go back and add a semicolon here, that will be the row separator in the array. And I do something like eight, nine, 10, two, something like this, right? So again, I did these commas to separate the columns. Then I do the semicolon to go to the next row. And then I do commas again to go to the next columns. So if I press enter, see, I have now two rows with four columns each. Again, this syntax is valid if you are in the US. Now, let me go and switch this back to Spain. So here, Spain, save settings. So now once we switch it to Spain, our valid syntax is gonna be, again, curly brackets is gonna be valid. But now to separate my columns, I'm gonna use this slash or forward slash, whatever this character is called. I'm not sure, you'll figure it out. And then the row separator, by the way, let me just close this so you can see that it works. One, two, three, four. Now my separator is this instead of commas for columns. And then if I want to go to the next row, it is still semicolon. So I do semicolon and do this, this, this and this. Press enter, see it works again. So again, semicolon is still gonna be separating rows in your arrays, but columns is not gonna be separated by comma, it's gonna be separated by this, uh, whatever that slash thing is. 
So that's the valid syntax in that case. So if I'm doing some of these examples and you're trying to do what I do as a comma, so let me actually switch this back. So because I'm in the US, I use US syntax in videos, commas to separate my arguments. And then when I'm creating a race, I always do commas to create new columns and semicolons to create new rows. If you want to just use the same syntax as I do, you can simply just switch your spreadsheet settings and change it to a different location or better idea, just keep whatever location you have and then just use semicolons instead of commas. And then when you do an array, instead of commas, use the slash thing. So just to show you again, oops, not the time zone. Let me switch this back to a different country here. So you can see how it automatically switched to this character for columns and this for rows. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully that clears out all those misunderstandings. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.